Hey guys, Rob here with eBuy Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new update 0.18 for Streamlabs OBS. So before checking this out, make sure you've fully updated your graphics card and you've got the latest version of Streamlabs OBS installed. So the first new feature which this update brings is selective recording. This is an amazing new feature which allows you to select certain sources to appear or not appear in your stream recordings. So for example, if you want to upload your video to YouTube but don't want it to show stream chat or your alerts and camera, you can disable these independently for the recording. This makes it much easier to build up YouTube content alongside your stream, including things like highlight reels and gameplay videos. So in order to do this, you should notice on your uh, live dashboard page that you'll have a little button here which says toggle selective recording. So if you toggle that, you'll then get these little icons come up next to each source within your scenes. So for example, in this scene, if I wanted to remove the alert box, or for this example, if we say we want to remove the sponsor banner, all we do is right click and then you go up to here and you can click either hide on stream or hide on recording. So you can do it both ways. You can either have specific stuff turning up on the recording that's not shown on your stream, or you can have stuff hidden on your recordings and showing on your stream. So for example, I normally have a chat box on my actual stream. Um, but for recordings, I'd take that off because obviously it's not really in context as the video is no longer live. So it's a really neat feature and if you're using a single PC streaming setup, it just gives you that flexibility to pretty much be able to stream and record at the same time without having to worry about doing loads of editing after to get things cut out, etc. So the software has also been given a redesign to refine the layout and combine both the editor and live tabs. This means you can edit your sources and scenes much more easily while the stream is live while also being able to monitor chat and alerts on the same page. So as you can see at the moment, everything is here on this page and if I want, I can click on this button on the left hand side and it will then bring up the stream chat which will be populated here obviously when you're live. So it's quite handy, especially if you've only got two monitors, you can pretty much have everything now on that single uh, secondary monitor. It just keeps it nice and refined and is kind of like one of the, the main selling points of Streamlabs OBS and always has been really that it's all included on one piece of software. So another cool addition is the dynamic bitrate option which can automatically adjust your bitrate based on your network conditions. This can help prevent dropping frames and allow your stream to stay live until the connection sorts itself out. This will be really helpful for users who have inconsistent internet and is a great step forward in making streaming possible for a wider range of users. In order to enable this feature, simply go to settings in the bottom left and then you want to go to the advanced tab and then just scroll down about or just near to the bottom and under network there will be the option here to dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. So make sure that's checked and then that should help out if you do have intermittent internet and should mean you can keep streaming and it will just adjust the quality based on your current connection status. So some other minor additions include the new dashboard button which will open your Streamlabs dashboard in a web browser. That button can be found here on the left hand side. You also now have timers which can track the amount of time you've been recording and a search function which can be used to quickly find specific settings that you want to adjust. So if I wanted to search for the dynamic bitrate option, you can just start searching dynamic and then you can see it highlights the word there. It just makes it a bit easier to get around the software quick and if you know the setting that you want to change, you can just type it in and, and find it that way. But overall, the updates demonstrate Streamlabs' continuing commitment to improving their streaming platform. As a Streamlabs OBS user, I've found this to be a massive help with both our live streams and the recording of videos. If you have any questions about the update or want further information, then please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. I've also posted a link to the Streamlabs website in case you're interested in trying it out for the first time. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. It's going to be at EGX this Friday, but we'll be back live on our Twitch channel from Monday. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and we will see you then.